Hello and welcome back to another edition of Couch Pilot Games. This is uh, getting in a rush. Um, Got to select my party here. But uh, we are going up against the Cerulean City Ascendancy and one of my good friends, John Henry, also a couch pilot. One of us will be losing their um, streak today. So hopefully it's not me. Best of luck to him. If it is him, I hope he continues to stay undefeated. Um, and yeah, this is the team we're bringing today. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Microphone? Okay, yeah. I believe I'm good to go. Here we go. Okay, so... What strategy do we go with? I think we go with this one. And we see what happens in the next match. If it's needed. I mean, not if it's needed. If it's good, we continue with that. <laughs> so he does bring Doug Trio and Haunch Crow. Okay. I do not have those available. But kind of sprung on I didn't get the sprites ready and yes I know I do not have toads cruel I have toads cool but it was something I had in my folder so I threw it over to take the place of since uh, I couldn't get the Hisuian Zoroark in the game either so it'll be all right we will live okay excellent so not much they can do against me here. So we're going to Tailwind and we're going to Yawn. Mm, do you think he Volt Switches out? He could Volt Switch. Um, I think we just go into our Light Screen here. Hyper Beam, really? Big go Hyper Beam, huh? We're gonna get the light screen up. And gonna go for the Will O Wisp. Interesting. Gonna burn the Hydreigon. Hydreigon was burned. Okay. Alright, with that, I believe we can now. Um, nasty plot. And. We can just yawn the Rotom slot. Rotom's the only thing here that can do anything. Perfect. So he goes for the protect. We're gonna get big and big and nasty here. Okay. Haunch Crow must recharge. We're gonna yawn into Rotom slot, not going to do anything there. Okay. Glad we have the lefties. So that burn is just going to not do much to us there. Okay. So we don't really need the other. I think we can just go ahead and effectively dark pulse the Rotom slot. And um, we can just yawn the Haunch Crow spot. Well, Rotom can't protect. That's what we're going to do. We're going to Draco the Haunch Crow spot because we don't want to take a hit like that again. We're going to yawn the Rotom slot. Okay. So something's coming in for Haunch Crow here. Titar. All right. Excellent. So the Haunch Crow is probably the way it hit. It's definitely the Zoroark. So the Draco comes in. So he's a Salt Vest Titar, because that did absolutely nothing. Okay, Will-O-Wisp comes out. Umbreon did avoid the Will-O-Wisp. Excellent. Okay. Hmm. X 
Excellent. Okay. With that, um, with our tailwind up still. One more turn, I believe. Yeah, we got one more turn of tailwind. Okay. So with the one more turn of tailwind, we are going to just nasty plot again. I think that actually might be best for us. Or do we just Draco? Rotom's probably switching out. Or it's going to sleep. So, we're in a Dark Pulse, the Rotom slot. And we're going to get up a uh, Reflect. Rotom gonna come out because it doesn't want to go to sleep. Honchkrow coming out, which is the Hisuian Zorark, so this Dark Pulse should pick up the KO. Yep, so the Zorark goes down. And we're gonna get up our Reflect. He's just gonna go for the rock slide. Okay. Buff by the sandstorm, both of us. It's not gonna kill the Umbreon. Okay. That burn is kind of annoying. That's okay. All right, the actual Haunch Crow comes out. And, okay, so it's also dark, okay. So, we are just going to, nah, uh, we're gonna go ahead and Tailwind here. And we're gonna yawn the Haunch Crow slot. So we're gonna Terra Ground, maybe? Terra Dark, Terra Ground, T-Tar, okay. We're gonna get our Tailwind up. Umbreon's gonna yawn the Honchcrow. And Honchcrow's going to U-turn into the Hydreigon. Ooh, dealing big damage. Did not know it knew U-turn. That sucks. That's okay. So here comes the Rotom. We have our Tailwind up, though, which is nice. The Earthquake is going to take out the Umbreon here. Hopefully that's the last turn of... that. We're going to find out. Nope. We are going to get buffed. Ooh, we're going to live it, though. And then we're going to get our recovery, and then get hit, and possibly get killed by the burn. No, we are going to live the burn. Excellent. Okay. So now we get to bring in... Hmm. I think we bring in the iron treads here. We are going to Draco, the T-Tar slot, and we're going to Terra Earthquake. Um, mm, that won't kill. We are going to Terra, and then we're going to go... Let's see. Yeah, Terra Earthquake will kill, so we're not going to do that. We're going to go Dark Pulse into the Rotom slot. And Terra Earthquake, the T Tar. <laughs> this 
So the Iron Treads Terra Fairy. Rotom is gonna protect. It's cool. Wearing a Dark Pulse into the protect there. Um, but the Earthquake's gonna come out, dealing damage on Titar. Possibly picking up this KO here, too. Nope, too bulky. It's all right. <laughs> you gotta do nothing to treads. Titar is a threat with uh, Goldango coming out here because the Earthquake will pick up the KO on him. And then we just gotta play good mind games here. Goldango coming out. All right. Goldango is going to effectively set up a nasty, I think. Yeah, we're gonna go with a nasty into Goldango because how many turns of, oh, we don't have any. Okay, that's all right. Um, we're gonna protect Goldango for a turn and we're going to hit another Earthquake, hopefully picking up the KO on T-Char here. Yep, T-Char goes down. And then hopefully the Rotom's going into the Goldango slot here. Mmm, gonna go into the treads. Nice, smart. Okay. Sandstorm subsides. Sends out the Haunch Crew. Okay. So, Goldango is going to. Mm, do we nasty plot thinking that we play a little mind game here with the sucker punch hopefully coming out no I think we just make it rain um, and rock tomb the haunch crow slot yep Rotom go and protect kind of figured that since it's just there for support rock tomb coming out lowering the speed of haunch crow and we get a big O make it rain coming out. Picking up the KO on Haunch Crew. So now we got a two on one with the Rotom here. Light screen's gone, Tailwind's gone. All right, um, we nasty plot. And uh, we're gonna knock off the Rotom. <laughs> Doesn't work, we're good as gold, my guy. We're gonna nasty plot up. With the nasty plot and effectively Rotom not being able to really do shit against me. We're gonna nasty plot one more time because I believe the next hit will be enough. Um, we're just gonna go for the rock tomb here. Lower the speed. And we're gonna nasty plot again. Shadow Ball will pick up the KO next go around though. Yep. Cause he's a bulky Rotom. So we were able to just outmaneuver there which is good for us. 
Um, we're effectively just gonna knock off here. And then the Shadow Ball will pick up the KO on the Rotom. And we're gonna take game one. Alrighty. So we take game one with two remaining, going into game two. Um, don't see why we would change much up. Uh, I don't think he blink brings the Haunch Crow this time, though. Um, I think he would change something up there. He did text me. Yep. All right, so going in with the same set of rules into game two. If we pick up the win here in game two, we will win the match. So, yes, this is the party we are going to bring. And preparations are complete, yes. Now, I could see the Haunch Crook coming out just because of U-Turn. But... I think we're going to go... Goldango, Umbreon, Hydreigon, and Armor Rouge this time. Because Treads was good there. Mm, I think we need to keep Treads for the for the T-Tar, specifically, to be able to deal some damage. Uh, Armor Rouge might do pretty good, actually. We're going to do Armor Rouge. Yeah, we're going to do Armor Rouge. <laughs> All right, here we go. Alrighty, into match two. Let's do it. So he went with a lot of bulk here. Okay, so the Houndstone is going to be Terra Fairy, um, which is good for us here. Um, Sandstorm does kick up. We are going to protect on turn one with Goldingo and effectively set up our Reflect. Yes, that is what we're going to do. Because I expect the Earthquake and... Um, Fairy Terra from him here. Probably going to try to take out... Umbreon. Okay, Terra Fairy does come out. Goldango going to go for the Protect. Houndstone is going to play rough and miss. That is huge for us. Um, the Rock Slide is going to come out. Hopefully no flinches, no flinches. And we get the Reflect up. Excellent. Good turn one for us there. Okay. Um... We are going to make it rain. And we're going to foul play. Mm, we're actually going to yawn the T-Tar slot. Play rough coming out. Into the Umbreon, not picking up the KO. And then the make it rain should pick up the KO on Houndstone, which it does. And the T-Tar probably picks up a double KO here with the Earthquake, but it might not, because we are a little bulky. And the Reflect is up, so he's effectively going to... Yeah, we're bulky. Um, effectively give us our weakness policy here. Mm-hmm. So now we have weakness policy Gold Dango out here. With the Reflect and T-Tar being bulky, he's just not able to do enough damage to us. So, um, I really like this move. Because the Haunch Crow is going to come out. Okay. Um, we are going to Protect. And a Tailwind. Actually, we're going to Terrasalize and Tailwind. 
because we don't want the U-turn damage here. <laughs> Titar gave us that weakness policy. It's beautiful. And we'll see. If he earthquakes here, then it's the actual Honchkrow. If he does not earthquake here and rock slides, it's most likely the Zoroark. And we can effectively just shadow ball it with, um, no, we can't shadow ball it. We can just make it rain. It's fine. With a plus one, make it rain. We'll KO. He's trying to decide what to do here. So if it is actually the Haunch Crow and you turns out, um, we're going to take like no damage from this. Protect coming out from Goldingo. Flamethrower coming out into the Goldingo slot. So it is the Zorark. And a Tailwind coming out from us. All right. Gonna iron head the Dragon, and then we are going to be able to go for. And now we know it's the Zorark, so it means Honchkrow's in the back. Um. Okay. So we can now make it rain, and um, we can actually. Dark Pulse, the Haunch Crow slot. In case it doesn't pick up the KO. But it should. So the Dark Pulse does pick up the KO on the Hisuian Zorark. And then the Make It Rain is going to deliver a pretty big hit here because of the extra. It is enough to pick up the KO. So. With us having a four on one now, or a three on one now, I'm feeling very confident that we should win this game, especially with our terror types and who we have left. So, um, here comes his remaining Pokemon, Hotch Crow. Okay, so we are now able to just do a. Um, we're going to go ahead and protect because um, we're assuming it's going to nasty plot. Or it's not going to nasty. It's going to whatever us. And we're going to go for the... Um, it's going to sucker punch. That's what I meant to say. To try to pick up the KO. Yep. So the sucker punch comes out, but it will fail because we didn't attack it. And the Draco should pick up the KO on Haunch Crow. Taking us to... Undefeated, 5-0, and Oklahoma Thunderous, feeling real good about this double season. GG's to John Henry and the Cerulean City Ascendancy. Um, I'm glad you've joined the league. I hope you continue to win, and I am your only loss on the season. Uh, GG's, brother. Um, like, subscribe, and see you guys in the next one. Link below will be more Gold Pokemon Society if you want to go check it out. Do it!